In this video, we're going over three ways you can add content to Edgar so that you'll have a regular feed of fresh content going out on your social media accounts without you having to stress about it. Let's get started. First, let's go through how to add content manually to Edgar. From the dashboard, click the Add New Content button. Check off the accounts you want Edgar to send out to, and then choose what type of post this is from the Categories menu. Next, you can write out your status update in the text box and add a photo or video if you want to. If you add a link to your post, Edgar will create a preview for you. Another major time-saving tool that you could use are the variations options. It's good practice to regularly share your evergreen content since many of your followers might have missed it the first time you shared it. But you want to keep your content fresh. Adding variations means that you can reshare your evergreen content, but switch up the headlines, messaging, or call to actions to keep it interesting. You can add these variations manually or do it automatically where Edgar will get selected pull quotes from within that article to add to the status updates for you. So now that we've added content to Edgar manually, let's learn how to add content with the import features. First, head to the import tab in the navigation menu. From here, you can upload a spreadsheet of content so it's all inputted at once. You can also import content from your favorite RSS feed. Now you don't have to spend time finding new content to share, whether it's your own articles or content from other industry blogs. Most blogs, podcasts, YouTube videos, and Pinterest boards have RSS feeds. All you need to do to use this feature is copy and paste the URL of either your blog or someone else's to find the RSS feed. Then pick what category these posts fall under. Scroll down to pick the accounts you want Edgar to publish these posts to, and then choose whether you want the new content to go in the pending content queue or sent directly to your library. Here's the difference between them. If you choose pending content queue, you'll be able to go in and approve or reject the messages and articles before they get published. We recommend using this option if you're curating content from a blog that's not yours. That way, you can make sure every article you share of theirs is relevant to your audience and has been approved by you first. You can also add your own input to the post before it's published to add a personal touch. If this is your own blog, you know every single article will be valuable to your audience, so you can go ahead and directly add these posts to your library without worry. Once you've made your choice, click Add Feed. All right, so you've manually added your own content and now you've set up some RSS feeds to take the work out of curating content. Let's end it off by downloading the Meet Edgar browser extension so you can save new content to your library on the fly. First, go to meetedgar.com extensions to find and download the right one for your browser. Whenever you're next reading something really interesting that you want to share with your audience, click the Meet Edgar icon in your toolbar and the Add New Content screen will pop up. From there, you just need to follow the prompts just like you would if you were adding content manually. Then click either Save to Library or Send Now and Save and you're all done. Now you should have a full library of content ready to go out to your audience. Just make sure you've scheduled times for Edgar to send out posts in the Schedule tab. Now Edgar is ready to be your personal social media manager handling the daily tasks for you so you can focus on the bigger projects that matter to you.